Before installing Hyperspec 3, confirm that your computer is operating Windows 7 or 10, has at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a minimum of 30 gigabytes of free storage space. To use Hyperspec is very simple. Once it is installed, make sure that the sensor is connected to the computer you're using, and both the computer and sensor in that sequence are powered on. For this training video, we're using a starter kit. It has the sensor attached, a light source, and a target tray. The tray has the ability to move in two directions. For this video, we're using a resolution card as the target. Once all the components of the starter kit are interconnected and powered on, start Hyperspec by double-clicking the desktop icon. Once Hyperspec opens, the left-hand button dock side contains all the control functions for the software. The viewing pane in the center will show all of the active elements of Hyperspec as you use them. Our first steps will be to set the resolution card down as the target, then move the target tray to a focus position. Finally, focus the lens and sensor onto the target itself. Click the live video button to open that view, then expand it so that it's easier to see. Click the auto scale and motion buttons. Place the resolution card onto the tray, move the tray so that the lines are visible through the sensor in the live view. Magnify the view. Next we need to calibrate for the light conditions. This is done by setting the white and dark references. Click the Calibrate button to open the calibration histogram. Remove the resolution card. Once you do that, check the spectral view plot and make sure the curve is no more than 85%. Click the white reference button and the system will automatically collect the sample for that reference. Once done, cover the lens with the lens cap and click the Dark Reference button. Remove the lens cap. Click the Waterfall button to open that feature. Notice the waterfall displays the same as the live video. Next, we'll use the waterfall display to scan the target. As we scan, we'll be setting the travel speed as well as the distance. Using a linear stage, setting the beginning and end points allows the target to travel beneath the lens so that we can focus. These same points will be used to create the data cube. After a few passes, the focus will be set. At that point, click the Capture button to enable that feature. We're using a Nano for this example. That opens the option to save on either the sensor or the computer. Click No to save on the computer. The Capture feature opens. Enter a unique name as well as the beginning and end points and speed from the motion control. When you complete, click the Capture button. When the scan completes, the preview window opens in Hyperspec. This is identical to what the cube will look like, but it is in RGB. When satisfied with the scan quality, close out the different windows and exit Hyperspec. In this short video, you've seen how to use Hyperspec and a number of its features. You've set up on a linear stage, 
calibrated the sensor and at the same time taken a successful scan.